Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So most apps on Windows 10 and Windows 11 support switching between light and dark themes. So as an example, if we use Google Chrome and I head over to my personalization page in settings and we change that from dark to light, you can see the same applies then to Google Chrome. So you get the general idea. Now, with the rollout of Windows 10 back in 2015, almost a decade ago, there was a bit of a mix of light and dark UR um, elements in the actual operating system, where the taskbar, the start menu, the action center were all dark, but back then the file explorer and context menus were light. And then back in 2016, because of obviously feedback and so on, Microsoft added a dark mode toggle, as I've just demonstrated, which added dark mode to the file explorer and also to your context menu uh, in Windows 10, which is now obviously um, the same in Windows 11. And although the file explorer and the context menus had dark mode, which Microsoft made that change in 2016, as mentioned, there are still elements, even in Windows 11 today, almost a decade later, that don't have dark mode support. So it's a bit of a mix-up still. So as an example, if I head into my file explorer and we just head to some pictures and I right-click and I head to properties, although the context menu is dark mode. If I click on properties, it's still light theme. So this is the legacy look and feel that's been around in Windows forever and a day. So that's just one example. Another example would be if we head to run, the run command is also still in um, light mode. So the registry editor, if we do the same, we head to run and we type in registry or reg, reg edit can see the same applies still very legacy in its light mode and then if we head into the control panel we can see that control panel is still light mode although the rest of my system is dark mode and as an example some of the applets like device manager if we click on that we still get the legacy light theme so it's a very much still a mix-up um, and those different components of um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 do not have dark mode support. Now, as mentioned, it's almost been 10 years um, since Microsoft rolled out Windows 10. And these areas of the OS, just as a couple of examples we've looked at today in this video, still do not support dark mode. And in some places, it seems that dark mode is completely broken. So as an example, if I head to my Windows tools, and this applies to Windows 10 and 11, we can see we've got our file explorer with the Windows tools, but it looks completely broken. It doesn't it look strange. It doesn't make much sense. You've got like a dark mode and then a light mode, yeah, and it just looks off and strange. So it seems that Microsoft still has quite a lot of work to do when it comes to making the UI consistent across the board. Because... Um, as you may also know, with Mac OS, things are much more consistent and complete when it comes to applying a system-wide dark theme and dark mode. So when it comes to Windows 11 and also Windows 10, although on Windows 11, Microsoft has made a little bit more progress, but still not the case in both operating systems for a complete system-wide dark mode. It seems that Microsoft has no urgency to fix these problems and um, because Windows 11 as an example rolled out at the end of 2021 we find ourselves three years later at the end of 2024 and we still get these different elements as mentioned um, when it comes to UI elements still being light mode when you even have a system-wide dark mode applied so this can be quite a, a, a annoyance and frustration because as an example if I'm working at night and I've got my um, dark mode applied, as we can see, but I head over to my Windows Tools, and I open up Windows Tools, we can see that that can be quite, you know, in your face and 
can actually hurt your eyesight if you're working late at night when you know the lights are dimmed and so on. So it still seems that Microsoft has quite a bit of work to do in regards to making the UI much more consistent across Windows 10 and Windows 11. And once again, what are your thoughts um, regarding this? Um, do you think Microsoft should hurry up the process? Do you think there's a reason they're not doing it? Or do you just think they don't really care? Let me know down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.